record, for the record, for the for the record, for the record, for the record, for the record. We got a few indie albums coming here, or EPs rather, so I, I can't wait to talk about those. Uh, this week, who we got? Man, we got three, three artists that I, I won't say, I don't know their situations, whether they're independent or or how they're moving, but I know I don't hear a lot of the people that I rock with talking about these three guys. So I'm talking about J.R. and King James. They dropped a five-pack EP, and also Coda the Friend, he dropped the EP that's like 10 tracks, but they're all like a minute a piece or so. But mm-hmm. between those two, uh, Lyrics to Go by Coda the Friend and King James is a self-titled thing. And I'll, I'll put... Oh, weather Report. Weather Report. Uh, and I'll put that description here in the show notes or in the podcast notes if you listen on audio and you guys will be able to get right to it. But it's... These guys are doing dope things, man. And it's returning me back to my mixtape days. Yeah, and that's what it reminds me of, like, uh, especially like the Weather Report, the King James and uh, JR. Yeah. Like, yeah, that one, man, just gave me that, like, the first time I heard Lil Brother, you know, it, it gave me those type of vibes. Like, they, they just dope beat, dope rhymes. What more can you ask for? You know what I mean? They, they're, Definitely lyrical with their content. You know what I mean? Like you, you're gonna rewind a couple of times. You're gonna go back a couple of times. You're gonna re-listen several times. Unlike what we just talked about before, <laughs> they got substance to the to the music. For sure, for sure. And we we're gonna break it down for you guys because we're gonna give you the good, the bad, constructive criticism. But I'll, I'll tell you, between listening to these two projects, I got. I'm being nitpicky at this point with the constructive criticism I'm going to have. But I, but without further ado, Prez, who do you want to start with? What project do you want to start with? Oh, right, let's since we already talked about it, let's go ahead and start with uh, King James and Jr. Okay, uh, okay. The weather report. Which joint you want to start with? Uh, let's start with the first song. Got let's start with the fall. Okay. They, they kill this every time with the vocal flow beat. Current, but ride waves and don't know they purpose. I'm a showcase Irvin. Watch how I handle shit and locate earnings. Spit it relaxed. It's high tension when they quote they verses. Snowman and Gucci. I've known the cold since the juvie. This sample gave me that feeling of when I drove in a hoopty. I left it on the side of the road smoking profusely. My uncle scooped me up in his truck smoking a Lucy. The game was never spoken this loosely. How the fuck it change a bunch of lames and fabrications. My shit is custom made. You got the cash. I'm at your throat, baby. Tuck your chains. Vibing the rod wave. I'm about to crush the stage. Muscles made from iron sharpened and iron. I'm cut different. Ain't too many that sharper than I am. Life is hard. Niggas scarred from all of the lion. I got the strongest mm. grip. I can rip the ball from Zion. Hold up. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> he just got a, like, he killed him with a Lion King reference, bro. <laughs> Man. He killed it with a lion king, but it wasn't bro. corny. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, it wasn't. It wasn't corny no, at all. It wasn't corny at all. So if they they starting it off like that, you Life immediately you immediately got my attention. And we just was talking about Jr's project Solstice, and we could put that link out there for people too. So you got about twenty new tracks to get with and get familiar with these guys because I got a feeling they're gonna be doing some big things here. Life like, real is soon. hard. Ninja scar for all this lying. <laughs> hey okay. man, okay. they hard, they hard, they hard, <laughs> man. All right, man. Let, let, let's let's see who up next, man. You wanna you wanna go to Party Cloudy? Yeah, yeah, this, yeah. Go to the next track. That's the next one on there. Uh, start at like the fifty-five second mark on there. Okay, I got gotcha. y'all. So hey, that was that was Jr. We're gonna give y'all some of the uh, King James, you know. Is getting fired like Viacom broadcast, but I'd rather stick to the mic shit. Cause what I spit, niggas wouldn't survive with a hand 95 mask. It's like that. Cause who you gas and probably couldn't hold me. My tribe is legend like Fife, Tibali, and Jerobi. The game's holy like we're throwing alleys up to Kobe. It's a legend. 
Lake Show, how we challenge him for trophies. <laughs> I'm gonna let I'm gonna let it keep playing. I'm gonna let it keep playing. All right, <laughs> let's let's be all right. Let's to be very specific you know what I mean? here. What's up? I said R.I.P. to the great. I mean, hey. but he said, "Hey, throwing alleys up to Kobe." Hey, I know, I know you was feeling that when you first heard it. Yeah. All right, let's keep it going. We coming for everything and even more, leaving nothing short of a masterpiece. When we record, no competition. I'm just seeing frauds. Niggas claiming they killed the game, but apparently weren't keeping score. They say comparisons to thief for joy. So don't care who your favorite is. Don't be comparing me to yours. We just do what the hell is y'all seen. A sure shot like Megatron in the hands of Starscream. Uh, couldn't fathom this shit in y'all dreams. Back again, shout out to the pair. But not the Ross me. They lost steam while I was warming. I mean, with the pop culture reference again, man. Not nice Transformers. Yeah, they stay in current. They stay in yeah, current, yeah. of course. Of course, but yeah, the, these dudes, man, was just killing it. This is what you can expect this whole EP. Just five joints of straight fire, man. Straight fire. Yeah, y'all hearing it. Let, let us know what y'all think in the comments. Let us know what y'all think in the show in the show uh, comments. Let us know, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you're saying, like it's uh, what they do. They got a bunch of soulful beats, and they just ride the beat so well on these things, man. And just with the content, you know, heavy on the content, what they actually saying, what they portraying up in here, that's what... That's what's gonna keep you around. And uh I know Cash said told me earlier, like, man, they don't be having hooks for all these things. I was just like, man, he had me out here like Jay-Z, like, I don't need no hook for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that was that was my only thing with this project in particular until I re-listened and caught like a little bit like a hook and fall. And then there was also a hook on the last track. And I think that single on the last track is just perfect man you ain't necessarily got to be a sing on it uh heavy rains is the second track where's where's a hook you know but i can't i'm being nitpicky when i'm complaining about that but the only reason i was talking about that type of stuff is that at a certain point when i want these artists to level up because i don't like to keep them to myself you know what i mean i i want to champion them to others and i know the other people that appreciate lyricism, they don't necessarily just listen to just bars. They want to hear the song structure, the song aspect. You got to catch them with that and the bars. But you know what I mean? Everybody's different. Everybody doesn't want to listen to raw lyrics yeah, to go yeah. with, with no Everybody's so different. I'm glad that you had these conversations with these people because if they was... If I was talking to them, they wouldn't hear it now. I was like, okay, I just ain't going to talk music to you ever again. Like, you you just don't know. <laughs> but I get it, though. I, I get it, though. It. But if you had to choose, if you had to choose, would you take a full song or just bars only? Like, the hook, bridge, lyrics, the feel, riding the beat, uh, um, unusual flow, flow unorthodox flow you know all that stuff that makes a great track like what would you take i think i would take just the the raw flow like those are the songs that like grab me more up in these things like time to time i remember like uh scarface had one where it was like just what seven minutes of him just rapping uh i ain't listening to him no more but the wayne <laughs> the wayne intros and stuff that comes in uh you had several lupe songs you know just just spitting the murals and all those you know uh so yeah yeah oh. i appreciate it i don't want to get get it twisted i appreciate those songs and heavy lyricism but i would prefer the last can we give them a little taste of just one more because some, some of the people may not be there go to overcast and play around about the 205 mark 205 <laughs> comes to this rap shit we on the borderline of being them spitters they wonder if we're gonna rhyme because they heard our shit and realized that they only saw the fly now they don't even want to record a line what they glorify i'm not concerned with it go against the grain like a nicholas copernicus i'm the same temperature as furnaces and not the flow for days they couldn't stop it if they was twisting a tourniquet the nerve of these niggas thinking that they can compete with us it's probably a bigger stretch than reed richards 
southern rappers, but we do not mumble. If it involves mics, then we shoot on sight like Scott Summers. Nigga. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, so, like, man, like, and then when I go back and look for these artists, I think they just, like, starting to put out regularly or just on the streaming platforms, like, mm -hmm. regularly. I, I ain't going to check SoundCloud and all that stuff, but, I mean, just I know on the streaming platforms, they ain't got much out, especially for this King James. I think this is it for them. This is all and, I see. This is all I see yeah. on the major streaming platforms, but I haven't dug deep. But, yeah, I mean, I was looking to see where these guys are from, him and JR. I, I haven't had the time to really dive in on that, but I think it's North Carolina, but I might be wrong. You probably are, but I, I ain't got to say that. I let them figure that out. I'll wait till <laughs> I get more info. You go ahead, jump out on that one. But definitely feeling it, loving the sound. Like I said, like we got hooked on the ransom and then JR was on the song with him. Then JR come out with, with uh, his at the top of the year. Then now this, and it's just like been... Solid project after solid project after solid project. Matter of fact, man, if you got a chance, go ahead and combine all three of those could make you a little playlist and you got a solid like listen there for about 45 minutes right there that you're going to constantly have on repeat. Matter of fact, I could tell you right now, I had this one on repeat like all weekend. It kind of messed up some of the other music I was listening to just because like it was so much better. This, lyrically, yeah, it was I listened so much to better. this first. I listened to this first and it just like. The sound, the 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 beat selection, the 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 content in it, compared to whatever else I was listening, just didn't didn't catch me. I was just like, oh, I got to go back to this other one. Yeah, it didn't so. compare at all. But again, I flip flop with how I'm feeling. But right now, they they caught my attention, and that's purely off of what I love first is what you got to say, and then of course the soulful beats, you know. That's they get there every easy time. kill. Yeah. Put in some church organs and all that. You got the trifecta with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. So, uh, but again, that's King James. Do you got any one more songs you want to play or we want to move on to Code of the French? No, nah, we got to move on. Let's go ahead and gotcha. move on. We, and right. If y'all want, like I said, it's five songs. We want to play the whole thing. Y'all go listen at it. Go, uh, go find them. King James is spelled kind of weird, but we'll have that in the, uh, description down there and just just go find them on title spotify wherever you're listening and then check them out Ooh, all right man introduce the next artist because i know you put me on to him and this is crazy considering where he's from <laughs> and it, this, considering how he rhymes too because uh you know your other laid back artists i don't i don't too much mess with but then when coda the friend <laughs> when I when I find him, he has that same laid back style style flow, but I don't know. I rock with it. I rock with it. I like it. <laughs> yeah, you're so, a hypocrite. Yeah. You're a hypocrite. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some people grab you. This is why, like, hey, there's tons of artists out there, man. If you're gonna go with these over here, you may go with this one over here. But yeah, Coda, man, he came out like uh I think this first thing he yeah this first thing he dropping this, yeah, this year, year. Like first thing i he I, I heard him dropping like a couple of months like so uh it's lyrics to go to uh like he's like you said it's a bunch of like loosey verses loose loose uh, loosely verses and that he's just putting out there and just about a minute long some of them maybe two minutes once again Give me a nice beat that you ride to and that you spitting lyrical content. I'm locked in. I'm simple. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, man. But lyrics to go, volume two. All right, man. So it's like he said, it's 10 tracks all about no more, no, no more than two minutes, if if that, on all these tracks. Uh the ones that I liked the most was two hundred dollars, pomegranate, uh, pomegranate. Uh, living room and broken. So those is all kind of speaking. Oh, sorry. My favorite one is emotionally dumb. So th that was my yeah. favorite one off the whole thing. Like I, I like when cats rap about their reality and don't try to trump up all the good things are happening in their life. You know what I'm saying? Like they taking you their trials and tribulations. And I'm for sure. We're a little, a lot probably older than him, but you know, I can I can say that I've been through some of the things he's talking about. So it kind of takes you back to a time and place. 
uh, where you were struggling, going through relationship issues, self-doubt about whatever it is you had going on, and you could apply that at all levels. So he, he touched on a lot of different emotions in this short EP, minute and a half to two minutes per song, in and out, got me... If you got me feeling like, damn, I wish this was a whole song for almost every song, then whatever you got next coming, I, I think it's going to be some heat because I don't think he just let something like this out without having more fire in the tank for 2021. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, it's your boy, Mr. Prez with Don't Sleep on the Couch podcast. If you've been tuning into us for a while or it's your first time, uh, as you as you know, we always ask for you to support us and there's different ways for you to support us. It can be as simple as hitting the like button, but we also have a Patreon. So you're asking like, what is Patreon? Patreon is where members like Corey, the foundation, you know, sends us some money so we can help support and uh, cover our revolving costs or improve our equipment uh, for the podcast. Uh, you can sign up at www.patreon.com. We have three different tiers for you to support us on. So we have a $3, $5, and $10 tier. At the $3 tier, you get your monthly shout out. At the $5 tier, you get your monthly shout out plus a bonus episode. Uh, and then plus everything else that you get, you still get your shout out in with that. And at the $10 tier is where we're gonna have your, uh, we also throw in a monthly Zoom meeting that we host. And it's on every third Saturday where we meet up with all those Patreons and discuss efforts going forward and give, let you give some feedback and where you can feel part of the podcast even more too. Give us some segment or some things that you would like to see us research. So thank you again for all the different ways that you can, uh, that you do support. And with that said, let's get back to the pod. I'm looking forward to what all these artists seeing what they continually drop out for 2021, man. Like, and <laughs> I guess January is what it is. Last January, we had like uh, what you had Wayne drop, you had Eminem drop, you had Yo Gotti drop, you had J Electronica. And this year, man, they left it open. And I'm loving that they didn't gave us time to continue to find these uh, little underground type artists, you know, and, and you know, expand our uh, catalog a little bit on what we actually listen to and actually get to spend the time with them. You know, uh, Drake then kind of scared everybody away. Like I've been saying, cause he constantly said that he was going to drop at the top of the year. So it don't seem like nobody's trying to drop in this time frame. and I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. I, yeah, I'm, I am I'm, too. I am too. <laughs> it's always good to kind of catch up with artists that you wouldn't give that much time to because a bigger artist is dropping and, in light of what we do, we want to highlight them, but it's only so much time and hours in a day to really give these guys the proper listen. And you never want to go out and do a half-ass review or put on for people when you haven't resonated with it. You know what I mean? And these guys deserve it. You know what I mean? Like there's a lot of people out there that are more popular. And of course we're going to cover some of them because that's the space we're in. We got to hit certain people, but, at the end of the day, I take more. It's it's better. It's more fun for me. I don't know about you, Press, to put people on to new artists and about. Oh yeah, I, I told you. I told you that guy was dope. Or to be like, just to be the put on guy. I I like I like catching cats at their infancy of their their career and putting people on to it. I know you selfish, but. Yeah, you know, like I'm about to say, be like you. you want that spotlight. You want to be that. Oh yeah, I put them on. I I don't care. As long as you putting good music out there, and I can listen to it. I don't care if you like it, cash. If I like it, I want to keep listening to it. I don't keep rocking. But I find some people who like it too. And that's then, what I'm talking hey, about. You got to put. I'm talking about putting people on to it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I'm talking about. <laughs> I ain't talking about you keeping shit from people. I'm oh, just talking okay. about putting people on. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Yeah. What did you what but did you like off definitely this one? Go check out, huh? What did you like off this one? Dakota? The yeah. whole thing. Ah, the whole yeah, like okay. that, I mean, that's that's no like no disrespect, but for real. Like I listened to <laughs> it like all the way through. Like <laughs> you picking out these one of songs and you know like I'm just giving them something to go to right off the yeah. back. But I mean you'll be done with this joint in what, fifteen minutes? 15, 20 minutes, yeah. I yeah, think what, so it, what is, how long is it? About fifteen it's, minutes. Fifteen minutes, fifteen minutes, yeah. So yeah. Uh, like I said, like I had 
the the King James and I had this and I would just play it like it was on like repeat like if I was at work <laughs> and yeah everything else I was doing especially on the little car rides it, it was perfect for like the little car rides when you gotta go make a little grocery run and stuff like that too so yeah for sure all right man you got anything else you want to mention music or any any other things you would listen to you want to let people know to check out for mm, nah I know you got a you got a playlist you dropping, right? Yeah, the playlist is ready to go. It should be in our YouTube and the uh, the show notes on the audio. So I'm going to send that over to Prez. He's going to re-upload this, this version here. So if you're listening to it, you're going to hear it again with the original podcast. I think I'm not sure how we're going to do it. But either way, you'll hear this Thursday, January 28th. Shout out to my man Cole, fellow Aquarius. You know what I mean. But uh, but yeah, I got some fire for y'all. R and B and hip hop. You know, January twenty eighth, J Cole birthday. Uh, I think so. That's when he put out the uh, January twenty eighth. Come on, man. Come on. You got to be a stand. You got to be a stand. You got to know these things. <laughs> I know. I don't have to know people's birthday, man. Like he hey, got a song what? named January twenty eighth, man. Oh, okay. That's cool. You went to the tour with me. <laughs> it was singing along with it. Don't ever let them taint your soul. Remember? I know Jay is December 4th. Oh, come on, man. Anyway. He got a song on it. So Black does album. J. Cole. It's called January 28th. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally. <laughs> which which album was that on? 2014, Forest Hills Drive. Like our, oh, his best album. Yeah. Yeah, right, right there. See, see how quickly cats fall out your memory banks, man. Good God, man. And then what did he re- re- release uh, Kids on Drugs? KOD. Uh, probably about 2018 or 2019. So he, he do for one. You think he do for one? You think he going to drop one this year? In the year, I think so. He, I think a lot he of cats is waiting. He gave us a couple of loose leaves last year. You had yeah. the, what, the Lion King on ice. Uh, then yeah, he had man. the other one where he was responding to No Name, that little tift that he got into. Uh, but other than that, man, he was quiet. Quiet like a lot man, of the big artists. Take it down. I ain't going to let you go real quick. We're going to talk about this because now I just got something in my head. Like Jay-Z used to give us an album every year. Every year. And he's the top. When the last time Kendrick gave us an album? Shit, that had to be 2018, 2017, I'm thinking myself. If yeah. Come on, man. I don't know how you how you feel about that, man. Which would which would you rather have? I don't want the the constant, but I like I don't want like the every six months a full album and stuff like that. I think those be a bit much like with your uh like the futures and everything like that. I was like Take with the best songs that you got for a year, and I think you could make a classic versus just dropping three or four great songs over here and hoping that it like everybody grabs onto the whole thing. If you take your time and let stuff mature a little bit, but a year seems like about a year and a half. I feel like we should have good more music out there. I think especially, my- especially after 2020. Ain't nobody touring. What you doing? <laughs> Probably, this is our inspiration right here, doing the pop, right? Yeah. But you got to live life to make music, right? Like, somewhat, like, I, I'm i inspired by life. So, I'm pretty sure musicians were in that many, many moons ago, I used to rap. But my raps used to be better based on life experiences. If I wasn't going and doing shit, then I, I ain't have much to rap about, man. Or a lot of people lost their job. A lot of people lost their jobs. I'm pretty sure one of his boys staying at his house or said that he was only gonna be there for about a week and end up just staying there because he lost everything, everything going out there. Rap about that. I don't know. I say <laughs> to the big guys, big dogs, yeah, Drake's, Kendrick, Coles, and, and and all that. I kind of like it. I like the two years off. You know, that, that's around what it seems like Cole does. You know what I mean? It looks like he does the two years 
Kendrick three, maybe four in between. But I think they've both afforded themselves that luxury to not oversaturate and they care about what they put out. And at the end of who, the day, who do you consider the top? The top guy? Yeah. Like who do you consider the top, the top like rapper? Like in our in our time frame coming up. Um uh rapper, I would I like Cole and Kendrick equally. Wale is in there. Oh, you wouldn't you wouldn't say Jay. Oh, oh, yeah, Jay, most definitely. Mo, I'm talking that's about what I'm saying. So the if current, that's the, the person that you're guys. trying to emulate, like that's that's he already said it. And he could do it like every this is year. Like, he's this dropping like eleven years most of them been in the game. Like low key, they, they eleven years we've had eleven albums from, from Jay. Yeah, but everybody ain't as active, man. And I'm not mad at him. I'm not mad at him for it. I'm not mad at the way. I want you to keep the cut. Like, I want you to have great content. But at the same time, man. Has, has any of them dropped a dud? I don't want you to be lazy with it. Now, neither. Has, has any of them dropped lazy. a dud? But if you, I guess what I'm saying is like, if you compare it to the other greats, if we're going to go back to basketball, we always use basketball because that's one way everybody's saying the goats. You got Jay, uh, you got MJ, you got LeBron, you got Kobe, right? Yeah. All of them, you know, they take that same mentality towards it. They grinding, they trying to get better, they trying to be the best, they trying to outdo everybody else. Like now, if you could uh, compare that to what's going on over here, they saying quality over content. Like Jay was putting out trash and it wasn't like, you know, it's, it's possible. If you want to say that you're the top and you doing it, like you could, you should be able to put out equal and be able to keep the consistency. If you're there, or are you just going ahead and just handing up? No, that's always going to be Jay. Cause that's going to be the argument that people are going to have. It's like, well, okay. You could Jayco. Yeah, no, he was, the, he was the best. He had four hours. Jay had, 18 over here, bro. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I yeah, I I don't really I don't care. I, I think I, I'm not I'm not I don't care when these these big artists don't drop because the ones in particular we're talking about, when they do drop, it shuts shit down. It's the most talked about album that year. It's Grammy nominated most of the time. Uh, it dominates the headlines when they drop. The music world stops. Period. I'm not talking about all of them. Not now. My the 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 Wale's and the Crits and the guys that that don't have the same. In my heart, they feel they're like the same as far as what I like to listen to. But in terms of who's the bigger artist, is clearly different. What month? What month did uh, Jay Z usually drop his albums? Uh, it was the fourth quarter back in the day. Oh. No oh, so you seen. remember this? So he stopped and shut stuff down because, like, obviously, you still remember that to this day. Like, that's when he came out. Yeah, that was the different so, time, though. That was when that was when everybody, all the big dogs, dropped in the fourth quarter. You know, right before the season changed. But now that it's digital, it really don't matter when you drop. You know what I'm saying? Some some guys are summer artists. Some guys aren't winter weather artists. You know what I mean? Like, I can't imagine. I think Ross maybe dropped in the winter time, but. Ross music hit a lot better when it's warm outside. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like Drake, you know, even Wale on certain singles, like mm-hmm. the Good Vibe song, Fat Joe. I can mean I can I can go on forever. Great song, by the way. That Good Vibe. Yeah, I'll be messing with that. Yeah, that Good Vibes by Wale. So, I mean, yeah, man, you just never know. You just never know. But I don't. I don't care whether they drop every three, four years, long as. They're active in between. That's where I start to have a problem. So I like what Cole did with Dreamville. And I like what um, Kendrick did with the Black Panther soundtrack and how involved he was with that soundtrack. So they've done some things. It just hasn't been whole albums. So I, I, could, I could deal with it, man. Other cats from TDE, other, other cats from Nair Camp have dropped quality shit. And we... We've learned about reason. Schoolboy dropped in between that. Um, mm-hmm. There's there's other other guys. What's uh, JID comes from Dreamville. What's the what's the two man group from Dreamville? Earth Gang. Earth Gang. We've been to one of their concerts. So yeah, they may have been active on that side, but their teams and their camp is active. And I mean, you get a little verse here and there from 
So I, I'm not too mad. I mean, don't oversaturate the market. I get what you're saying. You saying like, hey, the new age man. They they give the they give the for people room to breathe. They're gonna give the other artists time to breathe. So that's what you like a little bit more. Letting them get the other other people time to breathe. You don't like them champion up. Say no, this is me. I own this. Like Jay used to do and say, when I drop, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna shut shit down. Yeah, but like yearly, think yearly. Of, think about how many artists and label guys that are at the head that don't do it well. You know what I mean? Like we don't never hear about those stories how to, how some artists go by the wayside because Jay is continuing to drop, 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 and it's like, damn boy, that, like not a lot of artists are that are selfless to where my bad. They're selfless to the point where they let their artists materialize into something as good or better than them. You know what I mean? I.e. Ross, I.e. Wheezy. For I mean, Drake was out of here to begin with, but that platform that he gave him was a springboard. Wale, yeah. Meek Mill with Ross, springboard. Other people didn't work out with Ross, but I mean... Sh- they they did what they needed to do promotion wise. Whether they hit or not, it's just up to the people at that point. Drake, he's worked with a lot of people, but he hasn't necessarily propelled their career exec wise. You know what yeah. I mean? So he needs them to write for him. You know, get, keep his. I think he put people company. in position behind the scenes by working with him. Division, uh, the weekend party next door, like. Those are guys that were working on their own. What about you getting about what's the dude name going up on Tuesday? I forget. But yeah, but I forget his name. But <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. But like Drake probably is the most consistent even when he's not dropping albums. He he okay. still drop a banger of a song, something that can either work for the rap heads or the ladies, or just something that can work for anybody that listens. So he, he's the most consistent and present guy. All right. Can I get you to choose which do you like best, or are you saying that it's just in the era? That was the era. Jay owned that, and that's why you did it during that era. But now it's more of the quality that you want to get. What What are you saying? Yeah, so back in that era, it was always whole for me and anything – with Rockefeller, anything with Rough Riders, Murder Inc., and that that run they had, um, but then it with the artists that came up in that second wave, like the 2010s and 20, it was the guys we just were talking about: Cole, Kendrick, Wale, uh, Meek, Drake. All those guys kind of came up around the same time. So anytime they drop, I know it's gonna be quality regardless of where their careers are, label, drama, anything. I know they're going to put out something I really rap, uh, mess with. I'll even throw my man Wiz Khalifa in there because I do like his shit regardless of what anybody would say. I'm not ashamed to say that. Um, diff- different vibes, right? So, yeah. But the fact that um, these guys have established successful brands and labels – and all the other things that hip hop has to offer at this point. Yeah, I mean, dude, Kendrick just worked on the Black Panther soundtrack, bro. Like one of the biggest Marvel movies with the black action star, rest in peace to Chad. You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. Like he 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 been doing this thing, it hasn't it's just been behind the scenes. It hasn't been him front and center. And when he's ready to give us something, you can Right hand to God, you know what's going to be fine. <laughs> and I'm going to be right there. Like, right, <laughs> right there. Air, the air with your complaining ass. ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, uh-huh. people in the comments, y'all tell us which which one y'all like the better than. Did y'all like when they did used to do, if the big artists used to do the yearly drops, or do y'all prefer more of the, the three the, the two to three year breaks and that way you get the actual quality which that's kind of saying that the other ones wasn't quality but they was all yeah but real quick before I let y'all go if you're on YouTube subscribe set the alert so anytime we drop stuff 
You have it immediately, way before it goes to our social media. Don't rely on us to tell you. We're going to do it, but when we get around to it, but we're going to upload that content before anything else. So subscribe out there in YouTube land. Same thing for the audio listeners. Wherever you listen to podcasts, subscribe, set the alert. If there's a way for you to comment with us, I know I just downloaded CastBox because I saw a few people that use CastBox that reply to anything that drops in there. So I'm on that. I'm on Apple. The only way if you value our content that you're going to bump us up is to rate us. If you could rate us on Apple podcasts with five stars, preferably and comment. If we can get each and every one of you listening to add a comment rate, then we will go up exponentially on the charts. But without that, without you shifting the algorithms, liking, commenting on anything we post on social media. That's what the social media gods like. So we up against it. Help us. Help us, please. But with that said, yeah. I'm Cash, yeah. a.k.a. Exec B, into the right of my box. Empty. You show? Yeah. All my right. right. My Press. right. There we we out, people. <laughs> yeah, Catch y'all on the next <laughs>